After my pregnancies, my core felt really weak and also as if my organs inside weren't supported because all of my abdominal muscles had been stretched out during my pregnancy. So part of my recovery program was to work those deep inner core muscles to tighten and bring things in and help my core feel supported again. Today, we're going to do a core workout to tighten, strengthen, and bring the waist in. I'm also going to add a booty finisher at the end for volume and strength. I'm going to use one 15-pound dumbbell for this workout for the glute section to add a little bit of extra challenge. You could also grab your baby or grab a jug of something, but especially if you're newly postpartum or recently been cleared, you don't need to have a weight at all. We're gonna start on all fours, but we wanna keep our core engaged in this position. We're gonna do this by breathing in big diaphragmatic breaths into our side and back ribs, expanding around the side and back, allowing you to keep your core engaged and shoulders stay low. So let's make our way to all fours now. We're gonna do thoracic rotation using our core. You can take one hand up behind your ear and then pressing into your hand on the ground. We're gonna open up, good. Core is engaged, moving with control. Exhale as you lift. Release down, we can move to the other side. Re-engaging your core. Opening up. Exhale as you lift. Good. We're gonna come into a bear hover now. If you have diastasis recti, you're going to just press your knees in rather than hover. Tucking your toes, lift, we'll hold. Keeping your core strong, breathing into your side and back ribs. Good. For an extra challenge, you can drop your knees down and bring them back up again. Drop, drop. Release down. Let's bring opposite leg and arm out. If you have diastasis right there, you're gonna hold here. For more advanced, you can fan them out to the side. The work comes from being very stable. Your hips are not swaying back and forth at all.
release it down, take a breath. We'll set up for the other side. We're going to come on it to our backs now. Let's get down safely on our side. I have a few different options here. If you have a diastasis recti, if you're going to engage and stick with your alternating toe taps. Alternatively, you can bring your hands up behind your ears and exhale elbow to knee. Or the most difficult variation would be here. So wherever you are. Release it down, let's take a breath. Exhale, bring our knees up towards our chest. You can either keep your legs bent or you can straighten them and flex them. We're gonna move our hips side to side. Release down. Let's roll over onto our side. We can take a modified plank or you can go into a full plank, whatever feels safe for you. Engaging your core, working here. Let's reach through a couple of times. Good, lift up a little bit higher. Beautiful and we can safely release down. I'm gonna switch over to this side. You can just roll over if that's more comfortable for you. So again, setting up in modified or full plank. Holding here. Good. Let's reach through.
Holding here, releasing it down. Amazing job. You can grab a sip of water now. You don't have to use a weight, but if you wanted, you can grab your weight. You could also grab your baby for this section. So I'm gonna stand up. You can either hold your weight up and add arms in or keep it low. Let's bring our feet apart. We're gonna engage our core. Sumo squat down, come up nice and slow, squeezing your glute at the top, making that mind to body connection. Squatting down. Squeezing up, engaging your core. Every exercise is also a core exercise. Exhale as you exert. Let's come up. We're going to switch to one leg now. We can place the other leg out just for balance. We're going to squat down, tap out, and then come in. Look down, make sure you can see your toe. This is gonna activate your glutes. Last one, we can switch to the other side. Re engaging your core, squatting down, sitting back into your hips, really using that glute. Last one, if you have a wall, we can move towards a wall for a wall squat, or you can squat without a wall. Placing weight on your legs, engaging your core. Remembering to breathe. We have 30 seconds to go. You can also add some pelvic floor contractions if you want to. Ten more seconds. Amazing, come on up. 
we can place our weight down. Let's shake it out. We can stretch through our quad. If you wanted to grab onto a wall, you can. Your foot, let's cross it over top of just above your knee. And sit back, stretching out your glute. You can also do this on the ground if it's more comfortable. Release, let's come up for the other side. Releasing your foot. So this is what it means to be green with envy. How is it possible that I was on your mind? No, now when I look at you, your hair is made of gold. And I'm no longer feeling Come on up. You did amazing. I hope that you're feeling strong and energetic after that short but efficient workout. If you haven't seen it yet, I'm gonna link to my 14 day postpartum workout challenge. We will throughout the 14 days work all of the different parts of the body and try out a few different styles. Thank you so much for joining me today. I know it's hard to find time to work out as a mother and I'm so proud of you for showing up today.